A new story trailer release for Star Wars Outlaws about five days ago, and I live under a rock, which means I just now saw it. I'm not really one to get all that excited about story trailers, in, in all honesty. For me, uh, what I like to see is gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. That is what uh, you know I, I enjoy seeing. That's what gets me excited about uh, a future video game. Uh, so the story trailer, yeah, it basically said everything that you know we already kind of knew, but um, th this story trailer do does not hold a candle, in my opinion, to the gameplay that we saw and we have seen. So, yeah, what, what's really interesting to me, I, I did a little Google search uh, for Star Wars Outlaws, um, and there's three different versions uh, that, you, that you can purchase, which is kind of becoming the norm, right? There's the standard edition that comes with the base game uh, and a pre-order bonus, which includes uh, a couple cosmetics for a speeder and a trailblazer spaceship. The gold edition comes with the base game, uh, those two cosmetics as well, three-day early access, and then the season pass, uh, which says it's going to include Jabba's Gambit, which is an exclusive mission available at launch, and the Kessel Runner character pack featuring additional cosmetics. The blurb says that these two DLCs will release after launch, but it says that the Jabba's Gambit mission is available at launch. So I, I don't I don't know what is it? Is it at launch or is it after launch? Cuz it's kind of weird to me having season passes and additional DLC be released right as the game is coming out. Like I understand and I I'm I'm a fan of like you know, back in the day, we had expansion packs. You know, you bought Diablo, and eventually there was more Diablo to buy. You get expansion packs for your Diablo. You get expansion packs for Duke Nukem, any any game, right? Um, and that's kind of how I view season passes and DLC. It's basically the modern equivalent of, you know, the 90s expansion pack, right? But there's something weird about, like, non-cosmetic. I'm all for cosmetic stuff, whatever. I, I don't buy it. I don't care about cosmetic stuff. I would never buy a cosmetic thing in a video game. That's just me. But to have, like, the Jabba's Gambit exclusive mission as day one DLC, I'm not a fan of that. Um, I, and I know, I, I guess that's, maybe that's just me and almost being 40 years old and, and just kind of how I've been playing video games forever. It seems like that kind of stuff is going to be the norm. And I'm trying to wrap my brain around or trying to understand the point of view where that's okay. But, but deep in my soul, deep in my soul, I'm not a fan of that at all. Like... You know, you have your base game, you release your base game, and then instantly you have to buy more. The, the price difference between the standard edition, which is already $70, which is one of the more expensive standard editions of a video game I've ever seen, and then you have the the gold edition, um, which is $40 more. For $40 more, you get three-day early access, which... Whatever, I can wait three days. And you get these two season pass DLC things, which I'm uh, apparently are going to be day one at launch. Now, I don't know if these season passes, I'm assuming they're going to be purchasable at a later date. So maybe it is just available at launch if you get the gold edition. And if you get the standard edition, maybe you have to wait a few months in order to get that. Who knows? I, I mean, I really don't know. But there's something weird deep in my soul that I don't like about a day one release having stuff behind a paywall. I, I don't like that. So you have the standard edition, the gold edition, the ultimate edition. The ultimate edition comes with the base game, the pre-order pre pre bonus of the cosmetics, the three-day early access, the season pass, and then other two other cosmetic things, Rogue Infiltrator bundle and a uh, Sabak Shark bundle, which are all cosmetics. Um, and then a digital art book. So for another, what would that be? $20, you would get um, a couple more cosmetics and a digital art book. Uh, for, so that's $130 for the ultimate edition. Um, I, you know, digital art book, cool, not my thing. I, I would, it'd be neat to flip through. It's, cosmetics, not my thing, you know. So in order to get the ultimate edition, you're basically playing, paying 
twice as much as you would for the standard edition. Uh, you get the season pass, three day early access, and some cosmetics. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, Job of the Hut stuff is not completely locked behind a paywall. That would be kind of like kind of crappy, right? Like all Job of the Hut stuff being locked behind a paywall. I can't imagine that's going to be. I, that would be so scummy. I can't imagine that's going to be the case. Uh, maybe I'm being optimistic here, but I can't imagine that's going to be the case. Um, I'm hoping like the the season pass Jabba's Gambit one is just like a random exclusive mission for the season pass. I hope we get to see some Job of the Hut stuff without having to fork over another forty dollars, right? So I'm not a big fan of of um, these ultimate editions, not just with Outlaws, but in general. Most of the time, it's it's not worth it to me at all. Most of the time. Uh, I, I don't. I'm not. I don't care about cosmetic stuff. It's not worth forking over an extra forty dollars. A digital art book, love it, great, but not for me. Uh, maybe if it was like a physical thing that I could put on my shelf, that'd be neat. But most of the time, these things just don't seem all that worth it. Um, is it worth it to pay an extra forty dollars to be able to play three days early? No, no. I mean, I get it. Sometimes we get a little um, impatient. You know, we've all been there. But a release date is a release date, damn it. Let's all celebrate together. I don't really understand the re the, the necessity to play three days early. I got to be first. I got to be first. Let me pay over. F Unless money means nothing to you and you can, <laughs> you can just spend it. But I look at it and I say $40 for three days early and, and uh, a, a season pass thing with a couple missions or, uh, or a mission and a cosmetic. I look at that 40 bucks and I'm like, oh, I could go buy Helldivers 2 with that. I could buy a completely different game. Which I would. I would do that instead. Uh, but I don't know, man. I just uh, sitting here sipping some coffee. And I saw that the the job of the hut, a job of the hut mission was going to be locked behind a paywall. So I don't know, man. What, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, I, for me, I'm just going to get the base game. That's all I need. You know, if it's down the line and I want to get the season pass and I want to fork over some extra money, I, I'll do that. Things go on sale. But, you know, I'm not going to pay um, that much extra money for something that, I, in my opinion, I don't think it would be worth it. But that's just me. We all play video games differently. Anyway, enjoy, enjoy the rest of your morning, your afternoon, your evening, wherever you are on planet Earth. Let me know what you think of all this stuff in the comment section below. Despite all that, this isn't this was not meant to be a super negative video and me rambling for 10 minutes uh, being negative. Uh, it was just interesting to me I, I, because this is kind of this kind of thing is becoming the norm and I'm not a fan of it. Um, and, uh, but that's just how, you know, I, I guess I got, I have to get used to it. That's the way the industry is going. Um, and, uh, you know, eventually, uh, it, it won't even be, it's not like Star Wars Outlaws is the first game to do this, right? But it is one of the first games that I've been excited about that I've paid attention to that does this. So it's just kind of like, man, it's kind of like, man, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Anyway, see ya.